so last night Rob refused to take his rods to the upstairs in the hotel I brought mine and he was he didn't think anyone was gonna steal them so we're gonna we're gonna make it look like someone stole them. Where should we stick them inside there? You gotta you gotta hide his tackle bag. Craig cares more about that than anything. It's gonna be hard to keep a straight face right now, but I'm gonna try my best. Here, this is a joke, right? Wait. This has gotta this has gotta be a joke. Did you leave anything in the boat? I mean, we are in uh, Chatt Chattanooga. Why the, why the hell would somebody steal three fishing poles? Hey, at least they didn't take my $25 tube I made. Well, that's what I was going to say. I mean, at least they didn't get that. I mean, you can fly back with that. And then uh, at least you, you have rods. a tube with no rods to take. Next time when you fly back, you get, I mean, you know. Did they really take the rods? Mm. Your, your, I think your bag's gone, too. Didn't you leave an AP bag? Did I put the bag, did I put the bag in here? I put his tackle bag in the truck. I thought I did. Or the keys. He took the keys too. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, no, you guys gotta be kidding. There's gotta be a camera. There's gotta be. I didn't put the bag in here. Good. The fucking ones. What'd you have in the bag? AP bag? Oh. Eric's gonna kill you. No, I had like probably a thousand dollars worth of terminal time. With this? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, Rob, we got you. We got you. <laughs> All right, April Fools. I mean, even though it's like April fifteenth or whatever. <laughs> you got so you got so nervous. Yeah, we we hit his rods. Eventually. How you feeling? I'm good. Today's a different day. I'm a little bit more of a muddy water guy, being from Texas. I call it a little bit of muddy water. How muddy? Are we talking brown chocolate chip? Chocolate uh, it's, it's chip? Are we chocolate chocolate Ch milk fishing right Ch now? Yeah, no, no, we're not. Is yeah, it not this stain. color? No, just stain. Okay. Water. That stain water. I like it Texas tea. So I'm with Jeff and uh, Rob. Rob's with Scott. That's what we're doing today. Today's gonna be completely different. Shad wraps. I haven't thrown shad wraps since I was like two years ago. Uh, thir uh, five years ago, at least. I don't ever throw shad wraps. You guys have probably never, ever seen me throw shad wraps, so I'm kind of excited about that. And you said lipless cranks, shad wraps, what else? Shaky heads. Shaky heads. Shaky head. I like shaky heads. Uh, so, Scott just said the, uh, so yesterday's challenge was loser buys dinner, so Scott bought me dinner, because I, you know I beat Scott yesterday, right? Oh, I kicked his ass. Yeah, so it's going to happen again today. We're gonna go. We're gonna go for two for two. Except today, the winner gets Scott's trophy. He just won one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars for winning. Uh, what was it? The FLW Tour event. So hopefully, I get to come home and put his trophy inside the Guggen House. For now, we're gonna go catch some fish. Let's see what we got. All right, <laughs> that's what we're after. That's what's gonna win a Scott's trophy. Yeah, shit. That's what we're imitating, though. I mean, with at least you are. I'm not. But with the old lipless crank, mm -hmm. that's essentially what these bass are, are feeding on. We're doing big things here, boys. Big things. Oh, what kind of catfish is that? Leopard. A what? Leopard. Le hang on. What? A leopard? Yeah, flathead. A, a, le a leopard catfish. I've never even heard of that. See how pretty he is? That's cool. Leopard catfish on a, on a lipless. I caught some catfish yesterday, but they weren't like that. Learn something new every day, boys. Why you come to Tennessee? You got leopard catfish. Is that a bass? Okay, this might be our first keeper. This might be our first keeper. You never get him in. He don't come in. Oh, yeah, that's, that's not a bad fish. Right, we'll take him. We'll take them. First fish will go in 112. Absolute massive fish. But we're on the board. Neil Lipless is catching leopard catfish and uh, one pound bass. You got it. Whew, finally. <laughs> God dang. I don't think I've had to work so hard for a freaking one pounder in my life. One pound, four ounces. Little guy, that's my first fish. See you later, buddy.
There you go. Right in the brush. A little better one? Yeah. Oh, golly. That's a good one. God dang, that's a big fish. In the middle of the brush pile. There you go. <laughs> That's what we need right there, boy. Woo! So right in that scum, right there. That's where he caught. That's like basically the thickest, basically the thickest cover we've we've seen so far. Pretty much seen so far today. So that's that's a good sign. I've caught one dink, you know, one a one one pounder. He caught. He had like a two, and then a one pounder, and then that one, which is you know three to four pounds. So now we're sitting with four fish. I think Scott's only got what two, maybe two keepers. Yeah. Two. Right now we're kicking his butt. You know, nothing new. But we're gonna we're gonna keep on fishing. That kind of gives me gets me a little bit excited now that you cut that one in that thick of a brush. Maybe that's what we need to start targeting some some thicker cover. I don't know. Maybe it's a fluke. Not sure. It is. What's eleven o'clock? Is it really eleven o'clock? Wow. All right. Well, it's eleven o'clock. So we're gonna we're just gonna keep on grinding. I don't know if we're gonna stick around on this area the entire day or not. We may end up going back to where we were yesterday. I think Scott mentioned that. Anyways, we're gonna get back to fishing. I might pick up the jig though. That that kind of makes me want to pick up a jig. All right, Jeff was nice enough to uh, let me steal one of his jigs. He said the key here is a little bit of chartreuse. So we're gonna see if that makes a difference or if I just suck at fishing. We'll find out. Well, folks, it is about 12.30. We're actually kind of doing a little bit of pre-fishing for Scott. He's got a TV show to film tomorrow and then he's got a tournament coming up in like a week or two. So we're kind of doing some pre-fishing for him. And uh, so if we get any bites right here, can't catch them. We're gonna be nice to him. We're not gonna, we're not gonna catch him, right? We gotta be nice to old Scotty boy. We, we're just trying to find, help him find some fish. Um, but we'll, we'll make a move a little bit and see if we can catch some more fish. But I wanted to give you guys a couple quick tips um, as far as kind of what we're doing, just in, in general terms, not necessarily just this lake, but in, in just lakes all around the country in general. So we're looking for post-spawn fish. So that's why we are kind of fishing on when you're, you were seeing us throwing some lipless. Those were kind of like the, the, the points outside of the spawning coves, right? Yep. So when fish spawn, they go in shallow coves. And then when they get done spawning, they kind of move out and they go to secondary points that's that's the correct terms so i like to fill my videos with tips and i had some comments people people complaining about not giving enough tips so there's my tip of the day if you're fishing for post spawn fish find the nearest secondary point to any spawning flats and i know you guys in the midwest and especially up north aren't even close to post spawn fishing in fact you guys aren't even pre-spawn you guys are probably still frozen way up north but keep this in mind for those of you guys down south this is this should apply to you guys i mean texas and all those you guys should be pretty much post spawn by now secondary points that's what we're fishing and uh and we're also flipping brush too so of course you know fish fish always hold brush year round pretty much no matter what anyways we're gonna keep on fishing like i said we're probably gonna shake off a few fish here and there and then hopefully move to a spot where we can actually like you know hook some jack fish one. we can jack one and uh make sure we beat scott and rob i think we already have them so far but we're gonna we're gonna make sure we seal the deal There's a fish. Finally. You can get a help us though. You ain't gonna help us though. Well finally, it is uh it's now one PM. Second fish for me. So yeah, it's it's one one o'clock. Finally caught my second fish. Whew, that feels good. Feels good. Back in the game. I uh I had to shake off a big one. Um so being nice to Scott, so that kind of hurt me a little bit because I'd really like to have caught a big fish, but the day is still young, still lots of daylight, so we're gonna see if we can catch a big one. There's one. That's a good one. Yes. That's a big fish. Yes, finally. Yes, son. 
you have absolutely no idea how good that feels right now. Oh my god, dude. Finally, finally, finally caught a good fish. Wow. What time is it? 3 o'clock. We started fishing around, what, 7.30? No, it was 8. 8? So 7 hours it took to catch. God dang, that's a good one. I was just saying, I need one big fish. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is a big fish. You said three and a half? Yeah, yeah we, got, we got about three and a half here. Finally, finally, three o'clock. It took me so long flipping a jig, hundreds and hundreds of casts. Finally got a, finally got a decent fish. All right, we're gonna say goodbye to Ethel. See you later. I finally contributed to our limit, so I feel accomplished. I think we're still beating Scott right now, so I guess I could technically say that I helped beat Scott for the second day in a row, assuming they don't catch any more biggins. It's only three o'clock, we still have some time though. That's exciting. That is exciting stuff. Don't know if I've ever been so excited to catch a three and a half pounder. Probably have, but I'm very excited right now. All right, I'm gonna quit talking because when there's when there's one fish, there's there's more. So let's see if we can catch another one. Did you catch that 10 pounder on the bed? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, so you can go watch his video if you guys want to see him catch. Oh, no, he did actually. No, we did, but we did catch a lot of other fish. I appreciate you helping me out. This was kind of like a challenge and helping me for the tournament, so I appreciate you guys helping out, man. That was awesome. Yeah, so we're, uh, we got to go do pro tournament things, yeah. or TV show things. One of the two. I'm not exactly sure what's it's going on. Tournament. It's like TV. It's TV show things. Yeah. I'm not going to completely end the video here, but Scott gave us the victory on that one. So yep. uh, I get to take home your trophy, right? You do. Well, it's going to go in the Guggen House. Yeah, Rob, you think, it, you think it'll look good in the, yeah. in the Guggen House? You, th you look like a ninja right now. Yeah? Is that, is that your samurai angler right now? That's good stuff. All right, let's, uh, let's go do TV stuff. Samurai. Nope. <laughs> Sounds pretty crisp. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Big Nose Bass in here. All right, so we're back in the hotel, ending. I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna stand by the. Uh, oh, look at that light! I bet that lighting's just glowing my face up because I'm in the bathroom. Lighting is prime in here. I'm sure, audio sucks though. Um. Anyways, we're uh we're ending the video. Beat Scott Martin, second day in a row. Actually, Rob, Rob and I are gonna fish against Scott tomorrow. He's fi he's filming a TV show, but we're gonna do kind of like a YouTube spinoff of you know we're gonna fish against him. So right now I'm two two for two beating the number one angler in the world. And I, I say we, I say me as in we, as in me, my partner. Granted, my partners are pretty dang good sticks. I still caught some decent fish, I caught some keepers. So, uh, you know, at least I contributed. Hopefully you guys still enjoy this video. I mean, I didn't catch a ton of fish today. Mainly, mainly I was uh, kind of scouting for, for Scott because he's got a Bassmaster open and he's got the, uh, the TV show. And so we, we are shaking a lot of big fish off in certain areas in which I could have probably caught a few more fish, but I'm not making excuses. Had a great time. Final day is tomorrow. I fly to Dallas tomorrow. You fly to Dallas tomorrow. Rob's gonna be doing Rob things in Texas. I'll be planting, actually planting corn, so we'll be watering the corn. Gonna be watering the corn. You ready for watering the corn? You wanna come to Nebraska and water corn with me? He kinda wants to come. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video. Actually, Rob's gonna end the video. You know what you need to do? Rob's gonna end the video. <laughs> Everybody asks, Rob, what sunglasses are you wearing? They're really cool looking. Oh, I got good sunglasses. Don't worry, guys. I got the top-notch Costa Del Mars. They're, they're becoming in this foldable foldable version now you can stick in your pocket. Don't break this. I have to wear those tomorrow. Oh, that's true.